on, we don't make it pop. What's up? If he broke, then we can't talk. Nope. The f I make it shake, what? like a shake weight. Make it break, like an earthquake. Break the bank. If I put this work in, is you gon' cop me a Birkin? Money make this hot girl act a fool, and that's for certain. Ah. I'ma get the turkey, he know I'm his favorite person. What? That nigga think my. It's your girl Chata Gertis and welcome back to my YouTube channel y'all today your girl is back again with another video for you guys As you guys see by the title your girl is doing a updated Q&A A lot of people been wondering where I've been where I've gone where I keep going because it's not my first time I want go to the I love my supporters y'all been rocking with me for a very long time So honestly, I can't not stop be going through a lot of withdrawals and y'all also know I'm um, in, I'm in acting you know what I'm saying like I've been doing a lot of acting gigs and I you know just really Inventing myself, just making myself better, man. Like, I'm never ever gonna go ghost for too too long. Um, simply because I love y'all and I always see y'all comments and DMs like, Child, where you been? Child, where you been? So, I always just making my business to come back harder. I put a poll on my Instagram not too long ago, just basically asking people to ask me some updated QA videos that they want to know and um to see just what's up with me so i can just catch y'all up man updated question number one alicia dot underscore t said are you looking for a bae anytime soon so as you guys know my love life gets really freaking crazy um <laughs> and y'all one thing about your girl man your girl move on man like i don't never ever waste no time okay i don't never waste no time um i'm young you know what i'm saying i'm having fun like i love men men love me so I just act accordingly and I go with the flow. I am not looking for a man right now. No, no, no. However, I am currently dating someone. So when I say dating, like, I mean, we're just potentially dating. We're not necessarily in a relationship just yet, you know, but we're in talks about it. You know what I'm saying? I'm really just trying to take things slow. As you guys know, I got out of a relationship almost a year ago now. Um, so I'm really just trying to recoup from that shit. Because, you know what I'm saying? That was like a, a, a big part of my... Um, my life at one point so i'm just right now i'm just taking things slow um i'm not too eager to like jump in another relationship right now i'm just trying to fill everything out and just see what the future holds i ain't making no promises to nobody i'm just going with the flow question number two pretty lit underscore airy said will you do vlogmas this year yes y'all your girl is going to be doing vlogmas this year okay no worries i know y'all love my vlogmas as much as i love doing vlogmas um kind of sort of <laughs> Honestly, vloggers is like the most busiest time of the year I am on YouTube. Like literally staying up late at night, editing, li literally waking up early mornings to like make content for y'all just to have enough for a full day worth of vlog. It's pretty tough, man, but we're going to get to it, man. We're going to do it, man, because you know why? Because we, because, because I do this shit for real, okay? Like, I'm a real influencer, you know what I'm saying? I'm down for whatever. I need content by any means necessary, okay? Period. Question number three. K Kizzy, K dot Kizzy said, how have you been mentally over the past six months? So mentally, y'all, I've been blessed, man. Like, can't call it for real, for real. I just literally been just taking it one day at a time. Um, I'm just literally just living in my living in my purpose. I'm really spending a lot of my time with God, just praying. Um, I've been going to church a lot more this season. Um, and I'm just always just thinking about my next move. Um, so this past couple six months, man, I've been stable, man. Like you know what I'm saying? Like it, it ain't it ain't really much I can say. You know what I'm saying? Like I look around and I see myself getting by. So. I'll just be grateful. Chioma.23 said, do you still want to buy a house? So that's a good question, girlfriend. Right now, I don't want to buy a house anymore. Um, right now, we're going through a recession and a lot of houses are very overpriced. And um, a lot of people aren't making a lot of profit, like a lot of first time homeowners who's trying to, you know, have their first investment property. Um, and it's also a shortage in house supplies, I heard. So when I say house supplies, like I'm saying like wood floors and stuff like that like it's a shortage on house, house supplies i'm not sure specifically what the shortage is on so y'all can look at on your own time but right now i just didn't feel like it was the best time to buy a house um i'm trying to invest in my first investment property so in order to um have a successful investment property man i gotta make my profit back and right now how the prices are looking at 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 homes that ain't worth a damn <laughs> i ain't going for that you know what i'm saying a lot of people have this thing called fomo it's, it stands for fear of missing out 
I don't got no FOMO. At the end of the day, I'm really, really young. And a lot of my mentors may ask me, like, wow, child, you know, you're trying to buy first investment property. Do you understand that you are 100% in charge of this investment property? You you got you the one that got to cut the grass. The landscaping is up to par. You got to make sure something breaks. You got to fix it right away. Like, it ain't just no, oh, here, here, here y'all, here y'all go. Here, here y'all, here y'all money go. Like, let me move in. Like, nah, like, it's a whole process. So I just thought it was a good idea to wait and just be patient till I'm a little older to really understand and, and, and of course just be more financially stable um because right now a lot of my money isn't consistent so I never ever have a set amount of money I make monthly sometimes I have good months sometimes I have bad months but when you got a house and you owe the bank money after they give you a loan you can't just be like oh like, I can't pay that right now like you gotta cut them their check. So I don't think I was just, I'm not, I'm not ready for that big responsibility right now. Even if I buy a house at 25, that'll still be a great ac accomplishment at a young age. But right now, due to my mentors and my family putting me on game um, about the economy, I'm not ready to buy a house right now. Ooh, it's Sharon said, um, how to be happily and peacefully single, <laughs> like your girl. Uh, it's like, nah, so how to be happily and peacefully singly is, how to be happy and happily and peacefully single is really focusing on yourself and i know that sounds cliche and a lot of people say focus on your focus on but it's a fact so when i say focus on yourself take yourself out take yourself shopping treat yourself just really spending time with yourself seeing things you like seeing things you don't like seeing what you want to do and be in five years from now like really just focusing on yourself your mental health your physical health and you know i'm saying get into the gym you know what i'm saying really just you know switch up switch up how you do things daily and just become a better you man like Honestly, so how to be peacefully and happily single? Prayer and consistency. So when I say prayer and consistency, I'm saying whatever you whatever you engage in on a day-to-day -day basis, like make sure you put your all into it and just focus on you, man. 100% wholeheartedly you. It's not hard. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying if a, a, a young king come your way, you know what I'm saying don't say what's up, but pretty much let them know, like I ain't gonna lie, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm having some me time right now. So just focus on yourself 100%. So whatever it is, even if it's, you know what I'm saying, seeing how much money you can save, even, you know what I'm saying, trying out new restaurants you've never been before, going to different states you've never been before, countries you've never been before, trying new hairstyles you've never done before, just focus on yourself, you know what I'm saying, becoming a better you for real. Monique.e said, what's new coming up? So y'all, what's new coming up right now? Um, right now I've been focusing on my um, boutique, my, my online boutique clothing store, Child Money Collection. Y'all already know, I got a lot of stuff coming up this season um, regarding Child Money Collection. And we just made four years of being in business, y'all. God is so freaking good. Um, I first started Child Money Collection when I was uh, fresh, uh, a senior in high school. And time just freaking fly, man. Like four years, whoa, where does the time go? Um, so what's new coming up? And I also have a, a few movies and short films that I'm in that's coming out this um, this this year before the year's out. So make sure y'all stay tuned for that. And yeah, the only dot underscore dot lay said, "Are you seeing anyone at this moment?" I am. I am. I am. I am actually consistently dating um, this one guy. He was actually on my dating show. My dating show, Catch Your Money Fine Honey, is actually coming out very very soon. I'm in the process of getting edited right now. Um, but I actually met the guy on my show and we just been handing off pretty smooth man so i guess i gotta stay tuned for that um the only dot underscore dot lay again <laughs> said have your body healed all the way so yes and no so i feel like my body pretty much healed uh but my doctor said i really won't see like how my body is really going to be until a year post-op so right now i am february i will be one year post-op um, and that's when I would be 100% fully healed according to my doctor. But as of now, I'm not in no pain. I feel like I've slimmed up a lot because when I first, first got surgery, I had a lot of liquids in me. So I kind of was a little thick. You feel me? Um, I also got into fitness. I've been eating right. So to me, I feel like I slimmed all the way down. So I'll just, uh, show y'all real quick, man. So I feel like I pretty much slimmed all the way down. I'm much slimmer, um, than I was a couple months ago. Uh, due to a lot of liquids being in me from after my surgery, but now, man, I feel like you know, so I'm getting to my best self, man. Xvii. Ariel said, "What's the biggest lesson you think you learned this year?" So the biggest lesson I learned this year was consistency is key, man. Like 
just not stopping doing what you're doing and doing what you believe in because a lot of times I get discouraged even with this YouTube thing I'm not gonna lie I've got discouraged plenty of times with this YouTube thing even just content creating in general I've gotten discouraged but then once I look up and I see how consistent I've been and I just try being consistent for at least a month it'd be a big difference or even just eating right or going to the gym here and there like just being consistent in that like it just I don't know, it's just a different overall view of myself. Okay, underscore, underscore said, BBL, BBL update, pros and cons. So, um, I'll have, I'll say two pros and two cons, um, just because we finna get ready to wrap up the video. Um, so one pro is, I definitely, definitely like feel like my confidence has gotten more better just cause I, just cause I know I look good and I feel good. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm not shy to like show off my stomach anymore. I'm not shy to wear bikinis out in public anymore or crop tops anymore. Like I definitely feel like I, I'm more confident. The second thing is uh, I've related to a lot of women that's gotten their body done. And they always tell me like what they've been through, their pros and cons and stuff. And I also feel like it adds to me a little bit, you know, just certain things with the cons um, that I'm about to announce. So one con is the incision marks, man. Like I have so many incisions, nah, like about seven, eight incisions on my body from surgery um, that my doctor basically took fat out of and put fat in and stuff like that uh that's probably never gonna go away it's probably gonna be there so i i, I feel like with the incisions huh just stuff being on my skin y'all i love my skin i don't even want to talk about it because i'm gonna get emotional but the scars man like they they don't tell you about the scars they don't tell you about how when your body is 100 percent completely healed they still gonna be there it's still gonna show honestly it's no other con that's literally the only kind i have is the incision marks i hate them with I hate them with everything in me, bruh. Like, especially like somebody, y'all, I do not play about my skin, okay? Like, I've cried out of the blue about my motherfucking skin, skin, skin marks from surgery. So, I feel like just the incisions, man. That's, that's the downside of surgery they don't tell you about. Underscore Bria AJ said, are you going to be more active on YouTube? Yes! Yes! And yes again, I'm gonna be more active on YouTube. I'm trying to post a video at least once a week up until Vlogmas, cause y'all already know when I do vlogs, I'm gonna do every day and maybe a little after vlogs, I'm probably gonna take a little breaky break, about a two, three week break from YouTube. Um, once I just put out this content for y'all and, and I, I, every day I see y'all asking, where the content, where the content, where you been, where you been? So I feel like it's my job to just go back in full throttle and I feel like that's what I'm doing. So yes, I'm gonna be back more active. Pinky swear. And last but not least, 555.hl3 said, How long you plan on living in Georgia? Y'all, that's a really good question. Um, I've had thoughts about moving to a different state. I'm in this uh process in my life where I don't like saying things before it happened because a lot of people prey on your downfall, a lot of people check for you, a lot of people try to make you change your mind or or put their worries on you. So if I said, like, hey, you know what I'm saying, I want to move to Baltimore, which is a lie, I don't want to move there. Um I never been to Baltimore, <laughs> by the way. So hey, I want to move to Baltimore. Like, it's gonna be that one person be like, Oh, girl, you know Baltimore is really, really cold out there, girl. So you're going to have to, like, just always try to come in and just make you change your mind. Like, I feel like I'm a strong believer in doing what makes you happy, bro. I don't care how bad it is, how crazy it is, how wild it is. If it makes you happy, I say do it, bro, because you're never going to get that feeling of happiness back. So it's better just doing that thing that makes you happy instead of saying, damn, like, I wish I, I wish I, I wish I would have did this. I wish I would have did that. I don't plan on living in Georgia very, very long. I'm not going to give you guys a time frame or a, a location yet because I'm not sure my damn self what I want to do in the next year or so. Um, I'm just really, really trying to take off on my acting career right now, and I'm really focused on my acting career. And it's somewhere I feel like I have to be in order to... You know what I'm saying? Walk into the next step. That really completes this video, y'all. I love y'all. Really hope you guys enjoyed it. More videos on the way. I pinky swear. I love y'all. Peace and blessings. Lil, Lil, make it pop. What's up? If he broke, then we can't talk. Nope. The fuck I make it shake. What? Like a shake, wait. Make it break. Like an earthquake.